In this video, I'll show you how to create part four in Autodesk Inventor 2019. First, we should take a look at the multi-view. Here, looking at the front view, the top view, our right side, and isometric views, I think that I'd like to start on the top view here. Uh, I'd like to start that because we can easily draw a two inch by two inch square that we can extrude up one half an inch to form that square base. And then each of these other bits, the square corner, uh, the sort of rectangular corner bit here, and the circular hole, we can add or subtract from that uh, first square to get those pieces. So this will be in, in four main chunks. We'll do our bottom square, our square corner, our little rectangular corner, and then our circular hole. Okay, to start off, I know that I have to start with a two inch by two inch square that will extrude to a half of an inch. So an inventor, we'll start a new part. And because I'm drawing from the top view here, when we start our 2D sketch, so click Start 2D Sketch, uh, we're going to choose the XZ plane. So click XZ plane. My sketch loaded up sort of sideways, so I'm going to click this little arrow to straighten it out. You might not have to do that. But once we're set, uh, I'm going to click on Rectangle. Bring my cursor down to the origin. And when it snaps green on the origin, I'll click. Start bringing my mouse up and to the right. I need a two inch by two inch square. So I'm just going to type two on the keyboard. And that fills in a width of two. I'll hit tab. And then two, which gives me a height of two and enter to accept those dimensions. So now I have my two inch by two inch square. Click top over here, just to sort of center us, zoom in a little bit. Uh, and now with this, that's really all I need to do for the first sketch. I just needed that square. So I'll click finish sketch. I'll zoom all. Okay, so here you can see the sketch that's going to give us this bottom square portion, right, once we extrude it. And again, just double check, we have to extrude that to 0.5, right, one half of an inch. So click Extrude. We have to change the distance to 0.5 and click OK. Okay, our first chunk of work on this part is done. Second chunk is going to be creating this square in the corner. So again, looking at this square, it starts from the very corner. Uh, it goes in towards the center. It's one inch long in this direction. It's one inch wide in this direction. So if we start at the corner, draw one inch by one inch square. And if we check how tall it is, we know that the bottom the little base square is a half inch tall. We don't have a height measurement just for this square, but we do have a total height of one. So we know that this square in the corner is one inch minus the half inch. That's that bottom base. So we know that this square is one half inch tall, right? Okay, with that, we're going to start another 2D sketch. Click Start 2D Sketch. We're going to click on the top of the part. Again, it rotated me over, so I'm just going to fix this by clicking that little rotate button. Okay. We need a square from the corner here in, right? So I'm going to click Rectangle. Hover over these lines until you can get to this corner and have it snap to the corner with the green dot. When you have the green dot, click. 
Start moving the mouse down and toward the center. And we'll type in on the keyboard one, tab one, and enter to create our one by one square. That looks good. We'll click finish sketch. And we'll extrude. We'll extrude to one half inch, 0.5. Click OK. And with that, our second chunk of work on this part is done. We have the square base. Now we have the square part coming up in the corner. And you can see from on the home view here and the home view here, right? We're about halfway done. Next step. We're going to add this rectangle on this other corner next to that square we just created. So looking at that on the drawing, we know that it's one half inch long in this direction. We don't have a specific dimension right on it, but we do know that the whole thing is two inches. The square we just created is one. So this must be one inch long, right? It takes the whole rest of the, of the side here. Uh, so really, we could kind of do this in, in an easy way by using the corner of the part here and also the midpoint of this line. I'll show you how we can do that. So we're going to create a new sketch. We'll create it right here on the top of that base square. And now I'm going to use my orbit tool just to turn this around a little bit. You could also, if you want instead, you could go to, say, the home view on this. And home view would work well here too. Okay, click rectangle. And again, we're going to hover over the corner until we get that green dot snapping right to the corner. Click that. Start bringing the mouse down and towards the center. But start sort of scrubbing along or hovering along this bottom edge of the square. And so you see this dot, this little green dot in the middle. That's our midpoint, right? That's the middle of this line that makes up the bottom edge of the square. That, as you can tell by the dimension here, is exactly one half inch away from the edge of the part. Because if the entire square is one inch long, right, then halfway down is going to be the half inch. We don't have to dimension anything as long as we click the corner of the part and then, if it, and then the uh, midpoint of this line. There we have a one inch long by half inch long rectangle, and that's ready to extrude. We'll click Finish Sketch, Extrude, and that's not right, so let's check the drawing for the extrusion distance here. We'll see that that's a quarter of an inch, right? That's 0.25. So here we change our distance to 0.25. That looks good. Click OK. All right. Last chunk on this part is going to be the hole. So on the plan, we see that we have a one half inch diameter hole. And the center of that hole, the little center point, is going to be one half inch away from this edge. And it's going to be one half inch away from this edge here. So to do that one more time, we have to create a 2D sketch on top of this square base. I'm going to click Circle. And really anywhere around here, we're going to click once and start moving our mouse a little bit so that we can see this circle. Right? As we move the mouse, the, the size will change, but we just have to type in our diameter of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, enter, and now our circle is the correct size. It's the correct size, but it's not in the right spot. So we have two more dimensions to make, and for these, uh, we need the dimension tool. So click dimension. As you bring your cursor into the circle, 
you'll see as you hover over the diameter dimension, that'll highlight white. If you get to the center, right, if you're not directly on the center, you'll get that diameter dimension and highlight it white. But if you are right at the middle, uh, you can highlight the center point. Okay? So get to just the center point and click. And nothing happens except that center point is now highlighted. Now if we click an edge, so I'm going to click this side edge here. If I click the edge, you'll see that now I've got a dimension following my mouse that's saying how far apart this edge of the part is from the center point of the circle. I'll bring that dimension outside the part. I'll click again to place the dimension in that spot. And now I'll change that dimension to 0.5 and hit enter. You can see that the circle shifted over to be one half inch away from this edge. Again, I'll come in and I'll click just on the center point. This time I'll click on the bottom edge. I'll bring my mouse outside the part and click to place the dimension. Type in 0.5, enter. Now with those three dimensions, we have the circle that is the correct size and in the correct location. And we're ready to extrude it. So we can click Finish Sketch. Click Extrude. And right now we have to click on this circle. Yours might have auto-selected. I'm going to choose Cut. This middle button, Cut. That changes the direction of the extrusion and makes it remove material. And we've got to make sure this goes all the way through the part. And the bottom is a half inch. So we can't keep that at 0.25. We've got to set it at at least 0.5. And we'll click OK. All right. And with that, with those four main chunks of work on this part, uh, part four is complete. Good work. Make sure you save it with a file. Save. And don't forget to use the snipping tool to get a snipping tool screenshot to turn in on Google Classroom. Good work. See you in the next video.